So I wanted to make a dedicated video um, showcasing this fertilizer injection system um, that I put together off of this Amazon product, this uh, Amazon fertilizer injector. We got a new fertilizer tank for the fertilizer injection system. We were using that five gallon one, but I found just the perfect reservoir for the fertilizer, a 15 gallon reservoir. And these were just um, food grade buckets. I think they had syrup in them, or I uh, think that one had glycerin and this one had syrup in it, some orange flavored syrup. But anyway, they're food grade, so no worries about that. And uh, we're using completely 100% organic liquid fertilizer to inject right into the irrigation stream. And this was just quite a lucky find. This, uh, this reservoir, the hole on this side is the exact same size as this tubing. I actually had to kind of squeeze the tubing to get it in there. And it was the perfect length. It goes all the way to the bottom and it's just sitting above the bottom about three quarters of an inch. And it's got a nice big hole on this side so I can keep it filled. So super exciting. The injection system works really good. I've tested it and I used it last week to uh, fertilize the crop. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, to give you a rundown of it, um, this is the main water line coming in. And below that, there is a check valve because we would never want fertilizer contaminating our water sources. This goes back to my well that feeds my house and, and everything. So the water line comes in. Now, if I want to bypass the injection unit, I close this valve and this valve and I open that valve. That's how it's set up right now. And then the water would just come in and it would go straight through this this timer and filter and pressure regulator and then go out to the crops. But if I want to inject fertilizer <clears throat> into the system, I close that valve, open this valve and this valve, and then the water goes straight up through here. It goes through a pre-filter, then it goes through the fertilizer pump, comes in through our battery operated valve and timer it's battery operated timer and a valve and i've got four zones that i can run off that same one with four different programs then it comes out of that and it goes into another filter and then it goes through a pressure reducer because our drip system runs on 15 psi we don't want to blow out any trip tape so that's it that's a fertilizer injection system and it works super super well now this unit is uh, it's an Amazon product made by a company called Nutri. And it is based on the Dosatron unit, uh, loosely based. I'm familiar with Dosatron. I know the owners and the inventors of the Dosatron unit, and it really is a marvelous system. And this is based on the same principle. Um, it's just much more affordable. And before I you know, went all out and spent the kind of money uh, that a Dosatron would run. It'd be about four times as expensive as this one. But believe me, you know, in my opinion, you'll buy once, cry once. I wanted to see if this type of fertilizer injection setup was going to work well for me before I spent that kind of money. But this is a good, at this price point, it's a good unit to try out, you know, for a trial. Um, it's got a completely adjustable feed on it. It can go from one gallon. You can adjust it. You can adjust it so that for every hundred gallons that goes through the that goes through the injector, for every hundred gallons, it takes one gallon of fertilizer, and that's at its lowest setting. And then at its highest setting, for every hundred gallons of water, it'll take. 10 gallons of fertilizer. So it can go from 1% to 10%. And I think that's about the range that I need for, for this kind of setup. But if I go to adding any, you know, micronutrients or to flush the system, I think I'm probably going to want a system that uh, can be turned down lower than this one. But for now, this is working great. It's working perfect. I've tested it a couple times. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions or if you feel like I didn't do something wrong, man, absolutely feel free to let me know in the comments.